That was scary, bro. <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join in the debate. I'd love to give my two cents. Say what? What's up? What's up? Paimon wants in. Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? The strongest fighter? Hmm. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly churls with just one punch! <laughs> I do that for fun. Then Paimon nominates you! Aww, <laughs> that's nice. Okay. But anyway, is there like a general agreement in the city on who it is, or...? <laughs> expecting people to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the City of Freedom is like expecting fishermen's toast to drop out of the sky. Everyone's got their own opinion, backed up by a unique set of cherry-picked information. But let's be honest, that's what makes the discussion so impassioned and entertaining. You mean like Goku versus Superman or Goku versus Saitama? That's, yeah, no, that caused a lot of hate. Mainstream opinion is polarized, with most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight, the other is the Dark Knight Hero. So Dandelion Knight is Jean, and the Dark Knight Hero is Batman. Um. Oh, oh, Paimon votes for you! <laughs> Aww. But let's go into the tavern and talk to the patrons. Maybe we'll pick up some juicy gossip. Yeah, some cheese, man. Let's go get some cheese. Oh, I do envy your life of leisure. Hey, I earned that, okay? But don't mind me, of course. <sighs> I guess I'll just get back to work. Yes, you do that. Mm. <laughs> I ain't letting you in. <laughs> yes, yes. More story. Mmm, sassy. Sassy. Mm. Coffee. Sassy sucrose. That should be a thing. What'll it be today? The strongest fighter. I don't pay much attention to that sort of thing. Liar. <laughs> huh. Paimon thought bartenders had some kind of special information sources. That's what Paimon was getting at. <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. Oh, the horror. <laughs> this is horrifying. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently, he once rescued a city dweller from the Abyss Order. Barman's top secret intelligence. Speaking of the Abyss Order, their minions are really stirring up trouble all over the place, aren't they? Right, friend. That was scary, bro. Okay, this is something I don't need to do. Here we go. What would you like? Hey, I'm doing some adventurous training. Alcohol tolerance training, to be precise. Want to join me? Good luck with that. No, I don't. You want to know who I think the toughest fighter is? In my opinion, that would be the finest adventurer of them all. Stanley. Guildmaster Cyrus is up there with the toughest, too. But only Stanley can take on the bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari. Bloodthirsty beasts of the Mare Javari? Sounds terrifying. Do you think you'd be scared if you were faced with one of those? Yeah! Bam, wham, pow! Come, my friend. Why an adventure? All right, chill out. Bruce. Hi. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, the strongest fighter of them all? That would be Gene, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
why? <laughs> Grandmaster Jean is so strong. She can take out a ruin guard with just a few slashes of her sword. <clears throat> <laughs> Whoever did this dude's voice, it's, they, they did it spot on. And she could wipe out the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge all by her <clears throat> self. Otherwise, we wouldn't have such a carefree existence with nothing to do. It's true that Jean makes people feel they're in safe hands. Oh, yes, they are safe in her hands. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Ugh. Disgusting. Even if you are a close friend. Hey, amigo. Six-fingered Jose? What you? What type of name is that? Do you want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it, and also my soul. How about it, amigo? Amiga, amigo. What do you mean? No, it's amigo. It's amiga. Huh? The most macho in Mondstadt. She's a little girlie who wears red. Klee? That's right. I found this out one day about half a month ago, when I went up to the Stormbear Mountains looking for inspiration for my new song. Guess what happened? It exploded, eh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Never mind, sorry. I witnessed the most powerful destructive force I have ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains. Holy moly! I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. Sounds like Queen. <laughs> <sighs> but... I don't know if anyone will believe me. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the idea of a tiny little girl wielding that much destructive power is a little far-fetched. You want to know what I think? I think she has a treasure nobody else knows about. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Yeah, her grenades. <laughs> Damn. Did you say treasure? Oh, no. Did Paimon imagine that, or did you hear it too? It's just a guess. I mean, no. It's a bard's razor sharp intuition. <clears throat> I don't buy it. How can you say such a thing? Easily. Me click this button. So, this girl, what's her name? Ah, uh, I. I do not know her name. I, I do not see her often in Mondstadt. Hey, I I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. No, I believe you. Just not the Doesn't treasure. Doesn't sound like much to go on. But thanks for your intel. Hasta luego, amigo. Patton was right about one thing. Not just that, but some people's choices of candidates were just plain if weird. everyone's got their own opinion and can't be persuaded, how are we ever going to find out who Mondstadt's strongest fighter is? Eureka! Paimon's got it! Let's go see what Jean says. Bet the knights have got an official ranking table for this kind of thing. Guess it depends if they counted all your shenanigans or not. <laughs> Don't worry, though. Paimon has full confidence in your abilities. Good. I'm insecure. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Come, my friend. Whoa. Is Lisa here? No. Oh, Master Jean! Sorry to bother you. We're collecting intel on the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Do you have, uh, one of those official Knights of Favonius verified ranking table thingies? Strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Damn, that's her voice sounds. It's been so long. Huh. I am sorry, but I cannot help. I do not have any relevant documentation on that topic. Oh, well that sucks. <laughs> Paimon was hoping she would at least make the top five. <laughs> well, although I do not have the data to make such an assessment, I will say that my faith in our honorary knight's abilities has never wavered. Yes, it has. Which reminds me... Recently, one of the Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. If you are staying around Mondstadt, please be on the lookout for danger. Given your, well, high-ranking fighting strength, 
I trust you will be able to help keep the area safe. Awesome! After she beats the Abyss Order, she'll climb up that ranking table faster than she climbs up all those cliffs! <laughs> well, either way, smashing the Abyss Order to bits is the right thing to do! <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. It is infectious. But be careful out there. My freaking little pet orb. Oh, So cute. Too bad you don't turn into something else, though. You're just the shining ray of hope that I'll one day get a five-star Mona. Catch that? Hey, look! There's explosions inside city walls grounded by the woe explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Monstat be bombed. Klee be doomed. There's some writing on here. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded be thy woe. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Monstat be bombed. Klee be doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. <laughs> survival rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, something terrible would happen. Yep. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. Wow! More recognition, yay! Paimon is so happy right now. I heard it from Amber. But wait, no. There's no time for this right now. I'm dealing with a big emergency. I grabbed my map and ran as fast as I could all the way here. The... the treasure I buried in the Whispering Woods. It's... gone. Did you say buried treasure? Who dares takes Klee's treasure? We must kill him. Or her. Exactly what Paimon was thinking. Lost treasure is a big deal. Let us help you find it. Yay! Thanks, you guys. Oh, I need a keychain like that. Here. Here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> <laughs> I like her voice actor. It's nice. It's, it's exactly the type of voice Klee should have. I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. Paimon is starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come on, Miss Honorary Knight, let's go! Oh, with that look right there, she's trying to take all my primo gems. But she's already limited, so it's too late. Now I see why people wanted a summon for her. I missed that train, obviously. Gone, but you seem oddly happy. But now Klee has new friends. Damn, they didn't let us actually listen to her voice? That's stupid, what's going on now? <laughs> it even has Klee's thing. Talk to Klee. Oh, she's so small. We're here! This is the place! Such a small bean. Protect her. Look, this is where my huge treasure was buried. And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Look at him, just over there. It's an abyss mage! Hey, maybe he's the one Jean was warning us about. Him? Hey, look, there's one of the bombs. Right? 
the bunny? Oh, I should have summoned for Clee, man. <laughs> Bunnies are my thing. As in... Oh, my poor bunny. Rest in peace. What's that in his hand? <gasps> my treasure! What? Mm. I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. Hey, you! If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight! What's in your face, Rage? I play in the forest all the time, but I've never seen one before. He looks so cute, soft, and fluffy. I want to pet it. <laughs> you want to pet this thing? Game's up! Now hand it over! Oh, you fools think I would give this up so easily after what I've been through to acquire it? You mean just... Dude, it was not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chill out. Oh, fudge. Shade. Be careful, Klee. Don't be drawn in by it. Abyss mages are the bad guys. Oh, that's right. Grandmaster Jean says that stealing is wrong. Careful, little furts. Furts. Hmm. Be gone. Freeze. <laughs> that girl's lucky she didn't come alone. Otherwise, I. <laughs> oh, you chose the wrong ones. But if we could just get him to give it back. Then you can pet him, or in this case, kill him. <laughs> Oh, obviously. A gateway to a domain! The Abyss Mage must have snuck inside! Then he has no way out. <sighs> no, poor Klee. Kill this freaking Abyss Mage. Klee, do you need a rest? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? No! I'm coming with you. Oh, we're gonna use her right now for this, um, for this thing. It's my treasure that Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. <laughs> Don't worry. Klee is a big girl. With big explosions. <laughs> explosions is art. She's... Come on, Miss Honorary Knight. Let's go. Klee is literally, um, Deidara. Hmm. All right, let's kill this thing. Mystery of the girl. Oh, we're using her. Yay. Look at her. <laughs> Yee. Oh, she uses a catalyst, huh? Oh, I should have totally summoned for Klee. Explosions is a blast. Oh, Naruto run. <laughs> Damn. That is hilarious. And she has a clover. <laughs> Yo, no! Klee is fun to use. Boing, boing, boom. Boing, boing, boom. <laughs> you dare hurt Klee? No! You monster. <laughs> Gone shots.
Okay. Whoa, that was close. Kaboom. Bish. Boy. Suck it. Eat it. Shut up. <laughs> I love Klee. <laughs> she needs to be protected. Destroy this? Because I will. <laughs> they literally meant this one for her. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I was kind of spacing out and I thought he said, Oh, the human procl proclavity, the gossip has provided us with everything we weed. Like, I thought that said weed. <laughs> okay. We learned that your little red friend had in a position the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Oh, yeah, just take out the leaf and see how good that'll do. That treasure is now in my hands. There is nothing you can do. Now, your precious treasure shall be your undoing. No, no, wait, don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> oh, how you fret now. Your predicament is finally clear to you. Now, what have we here? A flame symbol. <laughs> <laughs> All I hear is Dr. Eggman. I don't know why. That is hilarious. <laughs> no! Sudoku! No, I'm kidding. Survival rules. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. <sighs> this is it. This time I'm done for. <sighs> no, I'm crying. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait. So Clee's treasure is a bomb? That was epic. <laughs> Wonder Glee was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Paimon for one is never picking a fight with her, ever. She's so strong, she's limited. <laughs> Hold on, why has she gone and run off? Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knight's headquarters and report to Jean. Uh, no. No amber. Go back to the Favonius Knights. Where, where do I leave? How do I? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. Can I? Can I do it? Let me see. 
Wait, go to my bag. I know I have it somewhere. No. Yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Save. Wait. <gasps> no! Damn it. Kree? You're here too? I... I turned myself in. For killing the mage? Huh? I... My... My bomb. I... I hurt someone. Oh, I could match her with her hoodie. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Clee, I need you to answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? Dead. Why is that? But, but Mr. Fluffball was only a thief. He didn't deserve to blow up. No, he did. <laughs> hey, come on now. Paimon already told you that the Abyss Mages are the bad guys. And actually, they're the worst kind of bad guys you can imagine. They don't just hate the good guys. They hate all people. Their enemy is humanity itself. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? <laughs> Mr. Fluffball is the enemy of humanity what what i don't get it this was an oversight on my part i did not tell you these things before because you are still young oh she's still a little a little human baby oh in fact the abyss order is a hostile force in mondstadt which has been unusually active lately aha that's it paimon understands now they were tracking down poor Klee because they heard rumors about her treasure. Just like the way Paimon's first reaction was to try and get her hands on... Uh, no. To try and get the facts on the treasure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice save, Paimon. So, does that mean... In light of your contribution on this matter, I will allow you to take part in the next Ludi Harpastum. Ludi Harpastum? Oh, yay. Let her keep dancing. She deserves to be happy. Miss Honorary Knight, you've got to come too. whoop de doo It's a happy ending. Except. Mm hmm Except what? Go on, Mama Jeans. Klee, where did you hide the treasure to begin with? Uh, I, um... <laughs> Were you trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't! I swear I wasn't! Uh, she's giving us that look that means play along. No, but she noticed it too. Klee? I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> solitary confinement? I'll let you know it's not that bad. <laughs> <clears throat> Paimon bets Klee must get bored in there all by herself. In her room? So that is Mama Jean. Where's the Luke? Oh, there he is. Jean, I must tell you. Our daughter. She's good. <laughs> I, I couldn't think of anything. But that's the it. Wait, stop looking at... Huh. That actually... Yeah, that makes sense right here. Let's save that. Oh, Data. What is this? Hello. Guess who? That's Paimon's voice I hear. Need help busting out this joint? Oh, oh yes, please. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I can't. Cree needs to be a good girl and think about what she did. Stop tempting me! We shall tempt you, so we must blow this place, so come out. Anyway, while I'm grounded, I'm making an extra special new treasure. The Ludi Harpastum version! <laughs> oh my god, so she spends her time making bombs inside there. Um, when you say treasure... 
I made it into the shape of a harpastum and everything. It looks so cute. Wait, what's a harpas harpastum? Just wait for a loody harpastum. Oh, yeah. They're gonna love it. Yeesh, if Jean was listening to this, Clee might find herself grounded for an awful lot longer. Quest complete. To be continued. Sweetie, I hear you're making bombs. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> I'll be more careful next time. Next time, I'll complete a big heroic adventure all by myself, and I'll do it safely. I've heard that the Adventures Guild has its own set of rules. I wonder if I could get them to... Yeesh! If Cyrus was listening to this, he would be begging Jean to extend Klee's sentence! Papa D. Luke is very proud of you, Klee. <laughs> now let's go see what your mom has to say. She's gone! I knew it! Now I take the chair. I can't take a picture like this? Yes, I can. Ha! Huh. There we go. Alright, that's the end of Klee's story. We'll see you all next time. So, as always, stay tuned for the next story, which should be... Mm, damn, I still need to do the other stuff. Okay, never mind. Until next time, so... Oh, jeez. As always... Good luck.